The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, better known as DARPA, is at it again. The R&D branch of the Department of Defense has a request for proposal out asking companies to submit ideas for a vanishing drone. That doesn't mean DARPA wants an invisible drone or a camouflage drone. They also don't want a drone that can drop in, deliver a payload, and then leave. They want one that vanishes. Poof. Abracadabra style. The project is called the Inbound Controlled Air Releasable Unrecoverable Systems, or Icarus for short. Cute, right? Icarus was the kid in Greek mythology who literally flew too close to the sun, which melted the wax, holding his man-made wings together. DARPA wants a design for a one-use drone that can fly into a location, deliver small, delicate payloads, and then destroy itself without leaving any trace it was ever there. What would that be good for? Well, imagine that you're part of an elite fighting unit closing in on an enemy position. You require some supplies, let's say anti-venom. The military sends you medicine using a vanishing drone. Once the drone delivers the payload, it disintegrates. This allows the soldiers to continue on without leaving evidence that they were ever there. A vanishing drone could also deliver supplies to civilians or non-military personnel in remote or dangerous areas. There'd be no need to pack up the vehicle or dismantle it to avoid it becoming a hazard to wildlife or falling into enemy hands. This could also increase the range of the drone because you don't have to conserve energy for a return trip. DARPA wants the drone to be able to carry small packages, less than three pounds or about one and a half kilograms. The vehicle must vanish within four hours of delivery or within half an hour of morning civil twilight, which I think involves vampires. Whichever comes first, it must be able to travel about 90 miles or 150 kilometers after being released from a balloon at an altitude of 35,000 feet, which is about 10,700 meters. And the longest side of the drone must be less than 10 feet or three meters. DARPA is dedicating $8 million to fund this project over the next two years. This is a pretty tall order. The engineers will have to design the vehicle, electronics, flight systems, and power source to dissolve or sublimate safely and completely. But it's not DARPA's problem to figure out how to do it. That's up to the companies that respond to the request for proposal. That's all I have for now, right now. Make sure to come back to now.howstuffworks.com every day for the latest stories in tech, science, and everything else.